Hi, I'm Danny. I'm one of the creators of Argila, a data-centric NLP platform. We are really excited about the NLP production use cases and about the new integrations with the MLOps stack that we are building. There are many other examples, so I invite you to check the docs. In this example, I wanted to show you a simple use case that is about assessing and using pre-trained models on your data labeling and data curation workflows. So in this case, I'm using Space ENER name entity recognition with my own dataset. And the way I created this uh, dataset in Argila is by using this Jupyter notebook, where I basically did three steps. The first one is to actually load the, the model, then use it to predict uh, over my dataset, and then finally to create this uh, new dataset in Argila. Once I did this, I can actually use the predictions to label my data. So uh, Argila keeps the annotations and the predictions. So once you start uh, labeling data, you can actually compute the accuracy using the Python client. And you can see whether this model is really uh, making good predictions with your, with your data set. And then you can decide to either keep on building a training set, you can invite domain experts, you can invite other people uh, from your team to actually build this training set, or you can see that this pre-trained model is good enough to go into production. And then what you can do with Artila is to actually monitor this model using this same uh, Python client. We have several integrations with FastAPI, with VentoML, and other serving uh, frameworks that can help you do this. So, in the UI, you can actually check the predictions, the pre-annotated entities, and if everything is correct, you can go and validate them. So in this case, you can see the progress of your annotation here directly. And also there are other data-centric features that can help you actually look into the dataset level to detect data quality and data annotation issues. Like for example, here, we see that probably Monsieur is not an organization. And this combined with the search uh, abilities, it's really useful for actually curating and correcting errors. So if I look for this uh, text, I can start to see patterns where this is actually incorrect. And if I want to go to the complete example, you will see that the prediction was organization, but someone, in this case me, already corrected this, uh, this label. We are really excited about the new use cases that we are enabling, and I really invite you to check the documentation. Bye.